CGCP3116 by Chastetica. Now this is a curious looking position. White has a queen, rook, knight and pawn. Whereas black has only four pawns. Three of them tripled on the d-file. And one of them actually threatening the queen on d3. So let's take a look at an interesting variation, shall we? Because the rook on d7 is also under threat. How about pawn captures d5 check? Now here, if king captures pawn, all right, we've got queen to b5 check. And then after king to e6, we've got queen to f5 mate. And of course, if king to c5, queen to b5 mates immediately, x-ray defending the pawn. So king captures rook. And here, queen captures pawn, d3, knight to f5, d2, queen to e7 check, king to c8, knight captures pawn check, king to b8, queen to b7 mate on the sixth move. Another interesting variation might be queen to f1. So king captures rook, queen to f7 check, king to c6, knight to f5, pawn captures pawn, king to a6, c3, queen to b7 check, king to c5, followed by queen to b5 mate. So black's pawns are kind of working against him by removing possible flight squares. They are fencing in their own king, so to speak. All right. Now the variations we've seen are interesting and they do win, but this is a chess problem and the solution, as you might have guessed, is a bit more interesting than what we've just seen. Let me show you. That's right. Your eyes do not deceive you. Rook to a7. Okay, let's unpack this. Let's say black doesn't play the obvious pawn captures queen just yet, all right? Let's say he plays king to c5. Well then, rook to c7 mates. Now that the king no longer guards the c7 square, the rook can occupy it. Not a very good idea. All right, what about pawn captures pawn? Well then, queen captures pawn with mate. What about e3? Well then, there are many ways to proceed here. Queen captures pawn, pawn captures pawn, queen captures pawn. And if e2 instead of pawn captures pawn, pawn captures pawn also mates. Okay, now that we've seen those variations, let's look at the obvious one, pawn captures queen. Now black has four pawns quadrupled on the d file. You don't see that every day. Okay, so there's this nice wall built up, fencing the king into the left side of the board. White continues with knight to f5, a quiet move. So again, if king to c5, we saw what happens here, rook to c7 mates. The rook x-ray defends the pawn. If pawn captures pawn, knight to e7 check, king to c5, and rook to c7 mates. Notice how the knight guards the d5 flight square. But what if d2? Well then, the same thing. Knight to e7 check, king to c5, rook to c7 check mate. Do you think you could have composed something like this? How long do you think it would have taken you?